All right, guys, so this is the moment I've been waiting for for months. We're gonna collect all of the turtles that are going outside and we're putting them out in the pond. Here's Softshell Tank, you haven't seen it in a while. We have Flapjack, the male Softshell, and the female, which those two were sent to me by a viewer. This guy here I've had for like three and a half, probably close to four years. His name is Darwin, and he's going out to the pond. It's because he's getting big, so we're gonna see if I can Hopefully grab him first try because, oh, this is going to be super hard. Okay, that's, all right. All right, so now we got these turtles we got to get. These guys will be easy. Shadow, going in the bucket. Hurricane, hoping she'll grow a lot in the pond. We got Cisco, and I am very much aware of the tank size with these turtles. That's why I didn't really do a whole lot of videos of them this winter. Okay, so as you can see, we're by the pond. It's gonna be all of these turtles' new homes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven turtles. Um, my Peninsula Cooter Cooper, I actually put in the box turtle pond. That's where the female yellow belly slider was. But he got bullied by Pops last year, so I put him in his own little pond. And the Florida, gosh, not the Florida, the yellow belly, the female yellow belly is coming in here. Now as you can see, the pond looking crystal clear. There's already a dead fish in there, but um, that's the circle of life. So when we're done putting these in, I might not do it in video, but we have another goldfish inside and a pleco. We're also going to be putting them out here. But let's start with the turtles. So let's start with the pond originals to begin with. This is Sally, female red-eared slider. Rescued her off of Craigslist. And I'm sure the red-eards and the paintings will just go in naturally and just warm up pretty quick because they're already in this pond for such a long time. Here's Phelps. This guy's like mascot of the pond. He's a male red-eared slider I was given to. Kind of has a long story, so I won't get too in-depth to it. But uh, he's definitely a cool guy. There he goes. I'll, also, I turned the pump off in the filter so you guys can hear me better. Next, we have see, this girl here. She is a red-eared slider. A little small, but I also got her off of Craigslist with the yellow belly, Cisco. Here she goes. All right, now let's get into the painted turtles. These guys you haven't seen before. They're new. They are two female Midland painted turtles. Beautiful turtles, nice and big. This one actually has some damage on its face from being snagged by a hook, if you can see that. So we're going to put them in. Where they were, there was one basking branch that was like the size of this one in the entire lake so i know they've already started basking and everything they are going to love it here so you can see phelps is already sniffing around his brand new log but here goes the painted turtles we need to find them a male which we'll probably do here shortly because i have a pond that someone wants me to trap now let's do the indoor turtles this is exciting Let's do uh, Cisco first because he would live out in the pond last year during the summer. This is Cisco. Unfortunately, I am going to need to find a home for my two yellow bellies and my Chinese golden thread. It's just how it is. I want to make sure they get exactly what they need instead of living with me and getting just what they need during this, the winter. I want to make sure they have everything they need throughout the entire year. But um, Cisco, male yellow belly slider, I got him off of Craigslist along with the other two red ears. So here he goes. I know he's going to be so glad to be back in the pond because he loved it. He grew so much just from last year. And as he is about to go in, let's grab this girl. This is Link. Now Link is a turtle I rescued from a surf shop in Florida. Um, she was just about this big when I got her. And she's only about two and a half years old. Almost three. But as you can see, already huge this is why you don't get a turtle thinking it'll stay small forever now she is like i said female yellow belly slider um possibility of a integrated which is also another term for hybrid between subspecies but here she is and i know she's gonna love being out in the pond as well 
her right next to you. Cisco, there he goes. Alrighty, now let's put in Nugget, Chinese Golden Thread. This guy I got on my birthday two years ago. I believe it's a female, actually. But um, this is a beautiful turtle. Really pains me to have to sell her, but it's just something I have to do. Find her a new home. But um, I think she'll do great in the pond. They are kind of semi-aquatic. Not as extreme as wood turtles are. But you will see this one out on the land more often than like the yellow bellies and such. So there she is. So excited to see how she does in the pond. Also, if I notice anything wrong with these turtles out here, I'll just bring them in. I mean, I basically have two empty 75 gallons now. So next, we're gonna put in Hurricane. This is the OG out of all of my aquatic turtles. I've had her going on six years now. She is uh, maybe a little small for a six year old turtle, but she's getting up there. I'd say maybe another year or so she could be breeding size. Mississippi map turtle, female. She's gonna love it out here. If you guys remember, if you were subscribed last year, I had another map turtle named Hamburg. She was out here all summer and grew a lot, so I'm hoping she will grow a lot as well. And here she goes. Looking around. She's never really even been outside a whole lot, so it's gonna be a new experience for her. She's gonna love it. All right, now we got two more turtles. This is Shadow, Northern Diamondback Terrapin, as you can see, have a little bit of shell problems. I'm really hoping the sun will clear all that up. That's just some, what you call retained scoots, is when they don't shed them properly. And it happens a lot with this species because they're supposed to be in brackish water, but they can live in fresh water. So I'm hoping the natural sun and all the natural basking will really help that out. And if not, then I can start using treatment on it which I probably should have started, but the natural sun will definitely help a whole lot. Female, she's about four to five years old. Um, Shadow, definitely one that I'm a little nervous about putting outside, but I think I'll risk it. Here she goes. Had to go on one. All right, now last but not least, this guy I was debating about putting outside or not. I have two other Eastern Spiny Soft Shells, but I'm only taking this guy. This is Darwin. I'm only bringing him outside. And if he does well, he'll be staying outside forever. Now, here's the thing about Spiny Soft Shells. There's two ways to tell whether it's a male or female. And one is a tail. As you can see, he's kind of got a shorter tail. And then two is males have, if their shell feels like a low-grade sandpaper, he has that feeling of the low-grade sandpaper, but his shell pattern looks like a female. It's like they got that camouflage. Um, so I'm really not sure whether it's male or female. I'm kind of thinking 50-50 at this chance, at this point. But um, soft-shell turtles, they're kind of different because a lot of them, their breeding size depends on just their size. Soft shells, it's size and age. So even though he's younger than Flapjack, Flapjack's older than him, which is would be the reason why Flapjack has a more developed tail. And soft shells are a little bit more feisty than the average turtle. And this pond, two thirds of it is completely sand, as you can see, so he should have no problem finding a hiding spot. So here he goes. I'm sure that he'll be doing great. And he is a native turtle, so there's no excuse for him to not do great. So we're putting him or her in. I'm pretty excited about this, putting a soft shell in the pond. Already burying in the sand. Exactly what I thought he'd do. And we have Justin the party cat also known as Foy Disease. He's the best dude around. He's the OG out of every single animal here. It's 11 years old. We've had him all 11 years. But this is the video. These are the turtles. 
other than the goldfish and the pleco we're gonna be putting in here that's about it so i will be doing a lot of updates on this because I'm, I'm sure you guys are curious on how they're going to be doing but um let's plug the filter back in so you guys can see the finished product Hold on, bark it goes three two there it goes Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me what you guys liked about this pond. What do you think? How long do you think the lily pads will last? That's my question to you guys. But um, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Maybe a little quicker than that.